So Declan, you've captained England for the first time, won your 50th cap. As weeks go, I'm sure you've had worse ones. How good was it on Tuesday night? Yeah, I think it's right up there. Um, if I look back at the milestones that I've had in my career so far, I think to get 50 caps for England, but also to captain on the night, I think you know, it's what you dream of as a kid. So to get two of them in one night, um, such an honour. You know, to have my family there, they've been with me since the start. Um, been on an up and up and down journey. Um, it was amazing and a moment I'll cherish forever. And then you're going from that to Man City on Sunday, sort of weeks like this, games like that at the weekend. Is that exactly why you joined Arsenal? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, to be in, in, in title races, to play in the big pressure games. You know, like you said, on Sunday, it could be a potential title decider. Um, but game that I'm, I'm really looking forward to. Obviously, everyone knows the stature of it and the, and the pressure of it um, and knows where it could take us in our season if we win. Um, so look, we're positive, you know, we're confident. And um, yeah, I think we were composed as well. I say you just said title decider at the weekend. I mean, can you tell us sort of looking from the outside as a kid growing up, dreaming of winning trophies, dreaming of being in title fights, What's it actually like to be involved in it as a player? It's difficult because you know the you know the pressure of having to win every single week. Obviously, we've been on an unbelievable run since we since we come back from Dubai, um, and we put that pressure on ourselves. You know, the, the fans put that pressure on us, and also the manager to to win every game. And I think now in the Premier League, every team is so good. You know, there's never an easy game. You have to be on it all the time, um, and to get three points now is never easy. So, you know, hopefully, we can can now continue this run after the international break and. Um, yeah, hopefully we can uh, kick something special towards the end of the season. Do you feel now with 10 games to go, this is where the, the running really starts? Yeah, definitely. Like I said at the start of the season, I think loads of the boys said, if you're in it, if you're, you feel within three to five points with 10 to 12 games to go, you know, you're always in with a chance and, you know, anything can happen. There can be slip ups along the way. Um, like I said there's really tough games, but look, like you say, we, we start off with Man City on Sunday, a team that's a point behind us. Um, so yeah, look, it's going to be difficult, but one we're going to be ready for. I know you've just said it, every game's a tough game, getting three points is hard, but going to City, do you feel like this is a defining weekend in the title race? I wouldn't say defining. I've seen, I've, I've read a lot of things recently where people were saying if, if one team loses or the, or the other wins, you know, one team's out of it. I think the fact that there's only one or two points in it, you know, it's going to go down to the wire, whatever happens, of course. We want to be the team that wants to win the game. Um, we want to go there, have a really strong impact, start fast. Um, lay our marker down and carry on, carry on where we've left off from. Um, but look, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it would define a season, but it can definitely help in deciding you know, what could happen at the end. So I found it really interesting. I was listening to you recently talk about England, you know, hopes for the summer, and you specifically pinpointed, you said the Liverpool players, the Man City players that are in the England squad, they've won trophy after trophy. Those are the guys that we look to almost for the belief to sort of get us over the line. You know, one side of the coin, that's an advantage for City and Liverpool because they've been there and they've done it. But for you personally, this is your first ever title race coming at it fresh. Is that almost an advantage for you? Um, yeah, to be honest with you, I've just embraced it. Um, you know, I've not been one that's, you know, to put a lot of pressure on my shoulders thinking about it. I think the, the good thing in football is that you've, you've got 10 teammates on the pitch with you. So, you, you know, even myself, if I'm not having a good game, you know, you can always rely on your mate to get you through it. And I've always, since I've even come in, never really tried to put pressure on myself. Even now we're coming towards the end of the season, you know, we're in the running. It's about just taking one game at a time. You know, it's, it's a game of football, it's 90 minutes. Anything can happen in a game of football. Um, but yeah, like I said, most of it for me is about positive thinking and having that positive mindset. You're saying recently that your teammates have said they've learned from last season. Obviously you were watching it from afar. What do you think it is they've learned that you can you know, take into this run in, in terms of the mentality? Yeah, obviously speaking to them about it, just talking about how last season went in general. Um, you know, we speak openly about it in the changing room. It's about I think what they've learned is that not to get too ahead of themselves, um, you know, to take one game at a time. I think that's the most important thing. And now it's a mentality thing. You know, how much do you really want it? You know, we have the ability, we have the quality. It's about on the day if you want to go that extra mile, you know, if you want to be better than your opponent and, you know, if we want to be Premier League champions, you know, you have to do everything you can um, in your power, everything you have to, um, to do that. Uh, we were speaking to Rodri this week. Obviously, comparisons are going to be made, you know, 
head-to-head -head central midfield big battle mm. uh, he told us that not that you went on holiday together but you met him on holiday tell us about that <laughs> yeah we met at, uh, we met at Schweier in Ibiza um, he was with a group of friends and we was next to him and I think as footballers when you see other footballers out you know you always end up talking and you know it was great to talk to him you know he's, I'm, a, I'm a big admirer of him um, you know like I just said to you before we started speaking people are always going to compare us you know that's what people have to talk about and write about but I don't I don't see it as that you know I'm a great admirer of his game um, you know someone that you know he's you know playing for Man City I'm playing for Arsenal we're battling it out you know he's, he's a fantastic player um, you know he plays game after game he's got the trophies to his name as well um, so I'll never say a bad word about him I think there's a lot of respect there um, and I think on Sunday there'll be a lot of respect as well. Obviously, we go to battle for 90 minutes, but after, of course, we'll shake hands. And again, it'll be a, a pleasure to, to share, the, share the picture with him. Do you know what? He also said that you've really grown as a player this season. But during his first season at Man City, Mikel Arteta was there coaching with Pep. And he said he can see watching you this season, the influence that Mikel's had on your game. Would you go along with that? Yeah, definitely. I think because he plays in a, a team where the six is kind of similar to the way we want to play. Um, he would have noticed them little adjustments that I've spoken about recently in terms of positional gains and where to be like when the goalkeeper or the centre backs have the ball or if the ball's in the attacking third, how to arrive into little zones. Um, so he would have noticed that type of stuff because he does that week in, week out. Um, but that's definitely the stuff that I've been trying to improve on in my own game as well. Uh, and in terms of the manager, uh, you know, how you, you said at the time he was a big factor in you deciding to join Arsenal. How is he now that you know you're getting to the business end of the season? How is he around the place? You know, we know what we see on the touchline every week, but behind the scenes, what do you see every day that, that we perhaps don't? He's calm. He's really calm. Um, he's trying to winch every single gain out of us as, as possible. He's trying to squeeze every last bit out of us that we can really push on and believe that we can do it. Um, you know, we're working hard on the training pitch. Obviously, still in the Champions League as well as as, as we are fighting for the title in the Premier League. So. It's going to be an exciting end to the season. I think he is really calm and um, the lads feel really calm as well, which is, is always a good sign. I know we sort of touched on it earlier, but Rodri said, look, as far as he's concerned, as far as City are concerned, it's must win on, on Sunday if they want to win the league. Are you going there thinking, do you know what, we've got to win this? 100%. I think we had that a couple of weeks ago against Liverpool. You know, there was a chance in that game that Liverpool either go eight points ahead of us or we close the gap to two points. And we had that in our mind. Obviously, we're at the top of the table at the minute, and now we want to go one step further and add some more points onto the board. So we definitely want to go there, be strong, win the game, and uh, have a really big impact. So you've mentioned earlier about the pressure of being in a title race. Uh, Theo Walcott is going to be at the Etihad for us on Sunday. And I was speaking to him about this, and he said, look, I'd love to know from Declan, I think it's really important that you can switch off and that you can just relax. He said, you know, do you find it easy to switch off and what are the kind of things you do to sort of distract yourself almost from being in such a big title race? Do you know what? It's England's quite a nice switch off in a way because even though we have two games, you have a lot of downtime. Um, so you're on your own, you're with the lads, you know, you're with a group of lads that you're not always with. So you're nice, you talk, you're catching up, talking about different things. I always like going away with England, which is really nice. But then when I'm at home as well, I just like to not really think about football. Um, you know, my mum and dad ask me questions all the time and I never really want to answer them. Just because obviously when I'm here, it's constant football, football, football. So when I'm at home, I just want to be able to relax and chill. And uh, I think that's the main thing for me, just having that thing where I can switch off, like you said, not think about it. But then when I'm at work, I can really put my full attention into it. Uh, and just finally, Declan, Rodri said that, you know, if Arsenal want to win, he said, you've got to go to their house and steal it from them. And that's not going to be easy that's just about the game but in terms of taking the title from them he said look if they want to win the title they've got to be prepared to suffer now obviously you've got the belief you know you're capable but is there that sort of inner feeling not just that you can do it but that you will do it definitely i think you know we're we what we now have 10 games to go a massive one on sunday um there's 100 percent that belief obviously i'm not going to talk it up too much but from an inner circle um, of a group of players that are so hungry, so determined, so ready to go to City on Sunday and make an impact, um, that we're going to be ready. We know it's going to be a battle, but we're ready to squeeze every last inch out of it and uh, you know, win the game.